Said it'll be another 0-2 pitch to Christian Arroyo. Can we get the punch out? We're going to get the grounded, which is even better. Oh, Scope has issues. Jonathan Scope, you got to be kidding me, man. Come on, man. That is unacceptable over there, dude. Unacceptable. For my family, gotta build a legacy. I'm gonna be the man when I'm dead. Work too hard, I can't slip up, so I'm clutching tight on this leg. What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment back with another MLB The Show 22. We are back with our Toronto Blue Jays franchise. And apologies for not being able to get the video out on Monday. I just didn't have enough time to be able to record. But we are ready to get back in this one. The next game, we're gonna be taking on the Philadelphia Phillies, coming off of a four game sweep over the Seattle Mariners. and. Just came up with a nice solid win, beating them 8-2. Jose Berrios on the mound, and he's like, anytime he comes out there, man, he finds a way to, if he's not getting the win, the team is likely going to be winning. He's only got two losses on the year and doesn't really have many, um, and doesn't really have many no decisions on the year either. So, we kind of, at first maybe internet too, was kind of like, okay, what's kind of going on? And then, started opening up them floodgates on flexing, and it, it just wasn't pretty, but. Next, we got, like I said, the Phillies. Um, we got Hinjin Ryu on the mound versus Ranger Suarez. Six and six on the year, ERA of 4.78. Ryu looking strong, man. He's 2.62 ERA, eight and five on the year. So definitely interested in seeing what he'll be able to perform for us. 13 and a half game lead on the Red Sox. So we really don't even have to do much simming. We're just gonna like sim a day here and then take a look. So okay, 14 game lead over the Red Sox, so yeah. But Without further ado, I won't keep you guys any longer. Let's go ahead and hop into this Philadelphia Phillies game. We're headed, or actually, no, I thought we were headed to Philly. Back to Rogers Center, we go. Let's go. And Gene Segura will lead them off here in the top of the first batting 250 on the year. You see what Hen Jin Ryu can do as the open, well, not the opening day, but excuse me, the first pitch of the day is too low for ball number one. And the 1 0 to Segura. Gonna be hit back up the middle. It's gonna hit off Ryu. Ryu's gotta hurry to make the throw. He is not gonna be able to get him in time. And it's an infield hit single. Give us an opportunity to challenge this one here. So we'll see. I really was kind of that one was kind of hard to tell to see if he actually got him out in time. Ryu being a lefty, it didn't help him out. And he looks to be safe. So no challenge for us. We'll get one last look here. And yeah, he's safe. Ryu looking for that put away pitch. The one two to Herrera is going to be a liner and a whoa, jumping high is Boba Shit bringing that one back. Would have been a base hit if he doesn't, if he's not able to sky high for that one. But great job, Boba Shit. Is that to bring up Bryce Harper one out? And here's Bryce Harper now. Big danger power, but we got to worry about here. Batting 273 on the year, and he'll ground that first pitch foul. And the old one now here. He'll get in there for strike number two. Good pitch by Ryu right there. Making an 0-2 count. Can we get the put away pitch here on Bryce Harper or get the double play body? We're looking for we'll take the strikeout. And Harper goes down at a good curveball from Ryu. That'll be out number two. Ryu doing a good job bouncing back after the leadoff infield single. And a 0-1 is gonna get through for Castellanos. And that is the second single so far of the inning for the Philadelphia Phillies. And they might have something going on now with two outs. Uh, not a good circle change, but their location was not where it was supposed to be. And now to bring up another big power bat. They got three big boys in a row. It's Kyle Schwarber, who actually was just in the home run derby, ended up losing to Albert Pujols. Kind of surprised to see that. Young Buck, like Schwarber, has much power, losing to a 42-year-old. <laughs> Didn't expect to see that one. And so weak dribbler from Schwarber, right? You will have time. The throw to first is in time, and that will do it. So the Phillies strand a couple on base. They had it looked like it was something brewing. Thankfully, we get out of it. Good job, Ryu. And oh, it's a weak dribbler. The sinker is going to be grounded to the shortstop, and Bichette on top of that one is out on a couple of pitches. And Cattell Marte is up to bat now, batting 276 on the year. Let's see what Suarez gives him. And there'll be one back up the middle, and Suarez stops that one. From possibly being a base hit back up the middle. And down goes Cattell Marte. And Suarez has two outs and three pitches. Not what we were looking for. One one to Guerrero. And oh, it's a grounder. Another one. Three grounders in a row. And that'll be a one, two, three inning for our Blue Jays on offense. And we'll head back to Ryu on the mound. We're looking to keep these Philadelphia Phillies scoreless. And 293, can we put Hoskins away? It'll be a grounder. It's going to get past Guerrero, who really never had an opportunity. Will he round for second? No. 
As he probably would have been thrown out, but Hoskins is on with another single for the Phillies at third in two innings. Said it'll be another 0-2 pitch to Christian Arroyo. Can we get the punch out? We're going to get the grounded, which is even better. Oh, Scope has issues. Jonathan Scope, you got to be kidding me, man. Come on, man. That is unacceptable over there, dude. Unacceptable. Ronald Torre is now up to bat batting 300 on the year. Main in scoring position. Got to be careful. We're getting another grounder. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get that lead running. We actually should be out of this inning already, but Jonathan Scope decided to play Butterfingers over there with his glove. All right, Ryu, one more guy to get, and it's Logan O'Hope. He's batting 175 on the year. Let's put him away and keep this a 0-0 ball game. Popped up, Scope. Can he get back there in time? No, Scope is too slow. And Jonathan Scope, error, comes back to honors. I don't know if it's going to be deemed as an error, but it was an error by Scope. And now he's not able to get to that one. I mean, my goodness, that ball is outside of the zone, and he just finds a way to that. That should never be a hit, man. That shit. Scope, get your ass together and get a move on, dude. Damn. Man, that right who's in a big hole. 3-0 count now to Gene Segura. Can't find that zone, and it'll be a four-pitch walk. Boy, just never had control with any of those pitches there, and all of them were really never even close. Now to bring up Aduba Herrera. As he'll look to see if he can put a big blow here in this one. we got to be careful. It's going to get the weak ground. Let's see if Scope has issues this time. He does not. Underhand throw to Guerrero. Gets us out of the second. And we're here to our bottom. Or we're here to the bottom half of the second. But Logan O'Hope gets a bloop single. And they, they take the lead. Eighth pitch of the at-bat. It is a full count to Tay Oscar. And he'll send one out there to right field. Back goes Bryce Harper. Still going back, but it's not going to carry at all. Just hangs up there. And it is out number two here in the bottom of the second. Tasker does kind of make his pitch count go up some, but man, right now we're having having no luck, no luck. It's not been a good outing so far for Ryu, as that one smoked into center field, a straight stinger. And Bryce Harper is aboard, even though there was a shift on out there. No way near to get into that one in time. It is another single. They have five singles so far. It actually, may even be six at this point. It's just not a good outing for Ryu. It's not looking like a long outing for Raul right now. The 2-2 two -two is grounded. Bichette, 6, 4. Scope does not mess it up. This time it is a double play. It's a huge one as we get Castellanos to roll it over for the 6-4-3. Thank you. Good job, Raul. Because right now, you're not looking too hot staying in here long. And the 2-1 to Schwarber. Pop up. Get foul of Chapman can't get there. Oh, Chapman will get there. And a great rundown by Matt Chapman. We're in there half of the third. It was looking like it was going to be another bloop single. But Matt Chapman able to run that one down. Great stuff. Great stuff. A 1-2 pitch. Chapman out in front. The third baseman dies for it. Not going to be able to get it. It's going to get all the way to the corner. And Matt Chapman will have our first base hit of the ball game. It is a double. We're here with one out. And it comes at a good time, boy, because, boy, Suarez, boy, he's been, he's been pretty tough to crack, man. That damn sinker he's got is very, very good. And it's been getting us grounded out left and right. One over to Kurt. And Kurt sends one. Left field. Back goes the left field. It's off his glove. It's going to hit. Oh, my. It's going to hit off the wall. Unfortunately, we'll have to hold up at third. But Alejandro Kirk is in with a double. And with Boba shut up to bat, he can absolutely give us an opportunity to take the lead here in this one. And for sure, he can tie it up. But take the lead. Come on, Bichette. We know you can. Let's crack Suarez right now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You know he wants that 10-game hit streak. Well, this would be a great time to get it. Let's go, Bichette. Let's go. And he'll send one into the gap. Right center field. Going back on the outfielders. This splits them both. It's a double and a 10-game hit streak for Bo Bichette. Back-to-back -back doubles gives us the lead. It's a two-one ball game. And we are definitely not going away easily, baby. Let's go. Great stuff, Bo Bichette. Great job, Chapman. That'll, hey. Claps all the way around for you boys, man. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. That's Cattell Marte. We'll try and bring home another run and make it four straight hits in a row. And Marte smokes one. We'll bring home another run. It's another double. Marte will round first. Will he get in before the throw? Yes, he will. And it's a 3-1 Toronto Blue Jay lead. And Suarez is starting to get tapped around as he continues to give up hits. That is four in a row. 
three doubles in a row, and the offense is here, and they're here to stay. And Guerrero, we'll see if he can also open this one up some more. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And Guerrero! Base hits and it's a big one. Guerrero getting a two run blast and we unload. Guerrero's 21st of the year. Let's get it, baby. 422 and we extend this lead even further. A big third inning for the offense. And it started with the bottom of the order and makes it a 5 1 ball game. Black caught one perfectly down the middle and he is not giving that one back. Oh, baby. And oh, ho, ho! George Springer to the Drake. Back to back for the niggas that didn't get the message. George Springer, baby, with the solo shot to straight away center field, his 18th of the year. It's back to back, no doubters. Let's freaking get it, baby. Let's go. Offense puts up a six spot. Oh my goodness, boy, we're just constantly getting back to back to back to back. Extra base hits. I mean, good grief. Oh, baby, George Springer. Suarez. An inning to forget. And he's still out here. That'll bring up Teoscar Hernandez. And all this is being done with one out, too. And Teoscar will end the streak of extra base hits, but is booted by the shortstop. And he'll be on with a single. They're going to call it an infield hit. But the hit just continues to keep on rolling. As Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is up to bat. As long as he doesn't grant into a double play, we will be batting around here in this inning. One more pitch here to Lourdes Gurriel. And he'll ground it. Five. Four. Three. They do end up getting the double play, so we won't bat around. But nine batters do come up to bat. And we score six in the third with seven hits and six of them well actually not all seven of them being in a row and with this Phillies lineup they got a lot of power here so we can't take this for granted but let's see what we can do here is the 0-2 pitch to Hoskins is going to be a grounder to the opposite side that's the second time he's done that Tay Oscar is going to round for second to the throw from Tay Oscar not in time and it is a double for Rice Hoskins not able to get him in time and Hoskins is two for two on the day since double of the year. Right, we're looking for that punch up pitch. Can he get it here? The 0-2 to Torres. He's gonna get him swinging. The throw to first base is in time. And well, I didn't think that pitch hit the dirt, but it does. But it's the second strike out of the day for Ryu. Good job by Kirk, able to get that over to Guerrero in time. And that will be out number two. There's Logan O'Hope, who brought in their first run of the game with a little blooper over Scope's head. See what he can do here. Hopefully he does not have the same success. And Ryu looking to strand the runner at second. The one-two. He's going to get the grounder to Guerrero. Guerrero will beat him to the bag. And that way in the first top half of the fourth. Blue Jay fans celebrating. So is the mascot. It remains 6-1. King Segura back up to bat. Walked in his last plate appearance. Took four straight balls. That's part of a run. And Scope cannot get to that one. Tay Oscar can't cut that one off. And Gene Segura with a lead off double. For the Philadelphia Phillies, as they'll try and see if they can get something going here in the top of the fifth inning to try and cut this lead down. Come on, Raul. Damn. Carrera 0 for 2 on the day. The 1 1 pitch to him. And he'll smoke it. Bichette. Oh, Bichette can't get it. But the throw to first is in time, and we'll still get the out. Big thing is the runner at second does not advance. So Girl will have to stay there, and boy, Bichette just missed it. Boy, that hit off his wrist, too. You know, that's got to hurt. And the 0-1 is hit back up the middle to Ryu. Ryu has it, and that way in that half of the fifth. Thankfully, it remains a 6-1 game. They strand runners again on base. I don't know Cattell Marte, one for two on the day. We'll see what he does here in this next plate appearance. And oh, he'll do just that. Oh, it goes foul. Oh, it looked like it was a solo shot from Marte, but just slightly out in front of it. They're pitching them cautiously now. At the Marte almost came in and hit a home run at the very first pitch. It's now 3-1 to him. And oh, Marte is late on that fastball. It'll be a routine fly out to left field. And that will be out number one. Pitch number seven of the at-bat. Another full count pitch. 
Will be hit out there to center field. Back goes to center field. It's still going back. Has he done it for back-to-back -back plate appearances? Yes, he has. And it is a second home run of the day. It's a second solo shot of the day for George Springer. And it is a 7-1 ball game. His 19th of the year trying to join the 20 home run club of the season with our team. We got a few guys up there now. Springer not trying to be left in the dust. He has a couple bombs here in this game. Good job, George Springer. Well, the offense comes to life. The one to the Hoskins here looking for that put away pitch. And he's going to get caught looking a curveball for the third strikeout of the day for Ryu. Great job, Ryu. That's a way to get the leadoff batter. We're just trying to get him through this sixth inning if he can so we don't have to stretch our bullpen too far. 0 2 from Richards looking for the put out on Herrera. And oh, it's crushed! Not sure where that curveball ended up being, but it is a solo shot. First home run of the day for the Phillies, and it cuts the lead to seven to uh, and it cuts the lead to five, makes it a seven-two ball game. His seventh of the year. Yeah, not, not sure where that curveball missed, man. I gotta take a look at that one. Ended up getting a perfect hit. Yeah, yeah that curveball just was not. Nice. That curveball was supposed to be kind of low the zone and just hung up. It's unfortunate. Is that to bring up Bryce Harper now, who's one for three? He'll go down, blow the fastball right by him. Second time we struck out Harper here in this one. Let's go. And oh, Castellanos is also going yard. Richards throws a fastball right down the pipe. As that one is gone. It is now a 7-3 ball game. And boy, Trevor Richards, what the hell is going on with you, man? 16th of the year for Castellanos. Now a 3-0 pitch to Schwarber. And that one smoked into center field. Springer is going to be the one to get it all the way at the wall to throw into second. Is it going to be in time to get Schwarber? No, as it skips up into Guerrero's hands, and it is another extra base hit. Their third of the inning, and right now the Phillies are not going away. I said it earlier. This is not going to be a team that goes away too easily. They've been tapped two and those around all game. They just haven't produced runs. And that'll bring up Rice Hoskins. We're not missing the meter by much. You guys can see right there, we're getting good releases, and he is just erratic. That one's back up the middle, and it will play home another run. We're not going to be able to get Schwarber out anywhere near in time. That pitch got out to center field way too slow, and the Phillies have cut it down, making it a 4-7 to seven ball game. Offense, I mean, pitching staff, bullpen, really. What the hell are y'all doing? And we're going to get the strike out there on a row. Yo, see you later. That'll end the top half of the seven, but not before the Phillies make their mark and make it a 4-7 ball game now. And it's a 2 2 Herrera trying to make the punch out. He's finally going to get him to wear down. It was a long at bat, but we finally get Herrera. Let's go. We're headed to the bottom of the eighth, where it's a 4 7 ball game. Guerrero is one of two guys that have not had a hit in our lineup. We'll see if he can change that. He's 0 for 3 on the day. And he will change that with a smoke fastball back up the middle for a single. And boy, absolutely crushed that one. Look at they getting that one back, low key. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope, who also, well, he's the other guy that has not had a base hit here in this one. So we'll see if we can get the entire lineup to get a hit. Let's see what you got, Scope. And Scope, but we ground it, we'll get aboard. So the two guys who are yet to get a hit wait to the bottom of the eighth to get their first hits. And we'll take it. Here with two outs. Let's see if we can add on and give our closers some support. Or more support. And it's an 0-1 count. Matt Chapman with a couple doubles on the day. Let's see if he can add on to that. No, he will not. It's going to pop up. And that will do it here in the eighth inning. We'll head to the ninth. We'll see if Jordan Romano can shut it down and get us the win. Got big power bats, though, coming up. Let's get it. Harper with a couple good takes. The 2-2 pitch now to him. Can we put him away? Oh, is a fat oh no, not a fat a slider sent over the head of Springer. And Harper will be aboard with a lead off double. Not what we were looking for. As they got power after power after power after power coming up. And it's a 24 double of the year for Bryce Harper. Cassiano's not going away easily. Another one-two pitch to him. Can Romano get the strikeout? Yes, he will. He blows it by him. With the tire run remaining on deck. Good job getting the strikeout. It's Cal Schwarber now up to bat. We'll look to see if he can bring home another run for the Phillies. 
And he misses inside. Romano walks over. And that'll bring the tie and run to the plate. And it's Reese Hoskins, who's been a pain in the butt all game. Three for four on the day. And we're in danger zone. Another 2-2 pitch from Romano. Can't put away. Hoskins, he will that time, though. Blows the fastball by him. Must have been looking off speed for that slider. And he'll go down. See you later. It's a pop-up. Guerrero in foul territory will have it, and that will do it. They get the tie and run to the plate, but they can't find a way to chip this lead any further. It'll be a 7-4 win for the Toronto Blue Jays. We'll keep up our winning ways. That'll be five in a row. Rogers Center fans, you guys can go home happy as your Blue Jays continue to win. My goodness, boy. A huge third inning propels us to this victory. No surprise who gets player of the game is George Springer, who had a couple of home runs. Good stuff, my boy. So a good one in Toronto. Philadelphia Phillies, man, definitely a good team. They're one of the best teams in the National League right now, and yeah, they're number one in the NL East, at least here on our game is what I'm talking about. So, yeah, definitely I think a good team. Wouldn't be surprised if we see them at some point later on, potentially, if we end up making a World Series. Could definitely see that happening. Got some good – good <laughs> they got a lot of good offense over there. Got a lot of good offense. But that will extend our winning streak to five in a row now, boys. And we're just going to keep on pushing on forward as we're getting ready for the all-star break here on the game. Got it here in five days, so we're going to have another game. It'll be all-star weekend. We'll see if we have anything to do with the all-star break. Not sure if we will or not. Um, I don't know if we have anybody in the home run derby or not, but, you know, we'll figure that out when it comes to it. But without... Yeah, I think that's going to do it for us here today, you guys. I want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If you all enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the video. And hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the Toronto Blue Jays franchise and more that we'll be posting on this channel. I have F122, my team career series. You guys want to check it out, it's popping up here on your screen. And the playlist link is in the description below. Also, if you miss any of these videos of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise, playlist link in the description. But that is going to do it for me once again, everybody. I want to say thank you all yet again. I'm out to next time, everybody. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless and peace. And it's the love from my fans got me still here.